Welcome students in another session of EPG Parshala. Today in this session we will discuss about and learn about biomedical waste management and handling rules. First, the main learning objective of this session is about uh, learning about biomedical waste, concept of biomedical waste management, step of biomedical waste management and segregation and proper disposal of biomedical waste. Regarding introduction of biomedical waste, it is referred to the waste material that come from healthcare institutions such as hospitals, clinics, diagnostic and medical research laboratories, animal houses, veterinary hospitals, etc. The biomedical waste is generated during treatment processes, diagnosis and research activities done on animals from human anatomical waste from laboratories, blood and sharps. Biomedical waste materials are as follows, used needles, syringes, blood and blood bags, urine collection bags, glucose bottles, bandages, chemicals, drugs, body parts and tissues. Harmful effects of biomedical waste. Biomedical wastes are biohazardous in nature as they are infection causing and pathological in nature. These kind of wastes are vector of number of disease so they promote the growth of different pathogens causing contamination and infection. They are the source of spreading deadful infections, disease such as acquired immunodeficiency syndrome, hepatitis B, septicemia and other life-threatening infections. Various rules under Biomedical Waste Management and Handling Rules 2011. The Biomedical Waste Management Handling Rules 2011 consist of 17 rules along with 6 schedules and 6 application form format. Rule number and contents. Rule 1, short title. Rule 2, application. Rule 3, definitions. Rule 4, duties of occupier. Rule 5, duties of operator of a common biomedical waste treatment facility. Rule 6, responsibilities of authorities. Rule 7, treatment and disposal. Rule 8, Segregation, Packaging, Transportation and Storage Rule 9, Prescribe Authority Rule 10, Procedure for Authorization Rule 11, Advisory Committee Rule 12, Annual Report Rule 13, Maintenance of Records Rule 14, Accident Reporting Rule 15, Appeal Rule 16, Common Disposal or Incineration Sites Rule 17, Liability of the Occupier or operator of a facility, various schedules under BMW, MH Rule 2011, Schedule Number, Related Rules Content, Schedule 1, Rule 4, 7, Different Category of Biomedical Waste, Schedule 2, Rule 8, Color Coding and Types of Container to be used for the disposal of biomedical waste, Schedule 3, Rule 8, Labeling of Biomedical Waste Container, Bags, Schedule 4, Rule 8, Labeling of Transportation of Biomedical Waste Containers, Bags. Schedule 5, Rule 7, Schedule 1, Standard for Treatment of Disposal of Biomedical Waste, Standard for Incineration and Operating Standards. B, Emission Standards, Standard for Waste Autoclaving. Third, Standards for Living Waste. Fourth, Standard for Microwaving. Fifth, Standard for Deep Burial. Schedule 6, Rule 6, List of various authorities and their duties. Here is the layout of biomedical waste management. Here, hospital act as a source of biomedical waste, where the wastewater goes to treatment plant and further it is reused. On other hand, the other biomedical waste, which is in the house segregation, uh, their collection, segregation, packaging in color-coded poly bags, done. After that, it is uh, collected in the common storage point within the hospital and transported to the CBWTF with the help of approved special vehicle. And in CBWTF, that is Common Biomedical Waste Treatment Facility, it is uploading, unloading and uh, stores temporarily. After that, treatment should be done on the basis of their nature and type of biomedical waste, which includes incineration, autoclaving and shredding. After that, it goes for disposal either in recycle or within landfill. Implementation of Biomedical Waste Handling Rules Application of Biomedical Waste Handling Rules It is applica applicable to all those generate, receive, 
collect, transport, store, treat, and dispose by medical waste in an appro approved manner. Hospitals, clinics, nursing homes, dispensary, laboratories, vet veterinary institutions, animal houses, blood banks, medical colleges, forensic and research labs, exempted areas are not applicable to. Radioactive Waste under Atomic Energy Act 1962, see Hazardous Chemical Rules 1989, Manufacture, Storage and Import, Solid Waste under Municipal Solid Waste Rule 2000, Batteries Rule 2001, Hazardous Waste Rule 2008, E-Waste Rules 2011, Hazardous Microbes, Genetically Modified Microorganisms and the Cells Enclosed under Manufacture, Import, Use, Export, Storage or Hazardous Microbes, Genetically Engineered Microbes of Cell Rules 1989. Here, categories of biomedical waste and their treatment disposal. Yellow type of waste is human and anatomical waste such as human tissues, organs, body parts and fetus below the viability period. Also include animal anatomical waste such as experimental animal carcasses, body parts, organs, tissue from animal houses, or from research lab or from veterinary and medical institution. For that, the type of baggage or container we require that is yellow colored non-chlorinated bags and in part of treatment or disposal, incineration or plasma pyrolysis or deep burial. Solid waste such as item contaminated with blood and body fluids like dressing, plaster, cast, cotton swabs and bags containing residual or discarded blood and blood components for that incineration or plasma pyrolysis or deep burial in absence of above facilities the waste to be treated by autoclaving or microwaving or hydroclaving followed by shredding or multilation or sterilization with shredding to be sent for energy recovery expired or discarded medicines cytotoxic drugs along with containers for that, yellow-colored non-chlorinated bags are used. Cytological drugs should be returned back to manufacturers for incineration or plasma pyrolysis. The discarded medicine shall be sent to manufacturer or disposed by incineration. For chemical waste, like chemical used in production of biological and used for discarded disinfectants, yellow-colored non-chlorinated bags are used. Disposed by incineration or plasma pyrolysis or encapsulation in hazardous waste treatment, storage and disposal facilities. For chemical liquid waste such as discarded disinfectants, silver x-ray film developing liquids, discarded formalin, infected excretions, aspirated body fluids, liquid from laboratories and floor washing, cleaning, housekeeping and disinfection activities etc for that separate collection system leading to effluent treatment system after resource recovery the chemical liquid waste shall be pre-treated before mixing with other wastewater the combined discharge shall conform to the discharge norm as per schedule third for discarded linen mattresses beddings contaminated with blood or body fluid non-chlorinated yellow plastic bags or suitable packaging material is used. Non-chlorinated chemical disinfection followed by incineration or plasma pyrolysis or for energy recovery. In absence of above facilities, the waste to be treated by shredding or multilation or sterilization with shredding to be sent for energy recovery or incineration or plasma pyrolysis. For microbiology, biotechnology and other clinical laboratories waste, such as blood bags, lab cultures, specimens, vaccines, human and animal cell cultures, dishes and devices used in microbiological research. Autoclave safe plastic bags or containers should be used. Pre-treat to sterilize and non-chlorinated chemicals on site as per National AIDS Control Organization or WHO guidelines and thereafter for incineration. In red category, contaminated waste recyclable, waste generated from disposable items such as tubing, bottles, intravenous tubes, and sets, urine bags, syringes, for that red color non-chlorinated plastic bags or containers, autoclaving or microwaving or hydroclaving followed by shredding or 
mutilation or sterilization with shredding treated waste to be sent to registered or authorized recycler for the energy recovery or plastic to diesel or fuel oil or for road making whichever is possible plastic waste should not be sent in landfill sites in white category waste sharps including metals such as needles syringes with fixed needles needles from needle tip cutter or burner scalpels blades or any other contaminated sharps object that may cause puncture and cuts this includes both used discarded and contaminate metal sharp for that puncture proof leak proof tamper proof container should be used autoclaving or dry heat sterilization followed by shredding or multilation or encapsulation in metal container or cement concrete combination of shredding cum autoclaving and sent for final disposal to iron foundries or sanitary landfills or designated concrete waste sharp pit in category blue glassware like broken or discarded and contaminated glass including medicine vials and ampoules except those contaminated with cytotoxic waste for that cardboard boxes with blue colored marking disinfection or throw autoclaving or microclaving or hydroclaving and then sent for recycling metal body implants for that cardboard boxes with blue color marking treatment and disposal biomedical waste must be treated and discarded in accordance with schedule 1 and with the standard approved in schedule 5 we are required each occupier must set up according to the time schedule in the schedule 6 obligatory biomedical waste treatment facilities like incinerators microwave system for the treatment of waste and autoclave make certain mandatory treatment of waste at the general waste treatment facility or any other waste management facilities the following procedure for the disposal of various type of bi- biomedical waste are as follow incineration incineration is a controlled combustion process in which the waste is completely oxidized and microorganism if present are destroyed and denature at high temperature autoclaving autoclaving is a low heat thermal process in which steam is brought into contact with the waste under pressure for a sufficient duration of time microwaving microwave oven having radiation frequency between 300 megahertz and 30 lakhs megahertz are used for treating waste shredding in shredding waste is cut into smaller blocks and disinfected the shredded material is then stored in landfills secure landfills a secure landfill is a specially designed pit of de- dimension 50 by 50 10 meters cube for from which hazardous waste cannot escape into open air or mix with ground water the sides of the pit are lined with an impermeable membrane such as plastic the solid waste is carefully placed in the pit spread out and compacted with heavy machinery the waste is then co- covered with a layer of compact soil the process is repeated till the pit is full it is then closed by cement concrete deep well injection in deep well injection is a technology of disposing waste mostly liquid in which treated or untreated water is poured through pipes running down several thousand feet from the ground level the water is injected into high highly saline rigorous under the earth so that the contaminant do not emigrate to pollute fresh water aquifers segregation packaging transportation and storage biomedical waste must not be mixed with other waste biomedical waste should be isolated in the containers or bags at the source of generation in compliance with schedule 2 it is done prior to its storage transport treatment and final disposal the container must be appropriately labeled as pres- prescribed in schedule 3 in case the container is transported from uh, the location of biomedical waste generation to any waste management facility outside the site the container must be separated from the label approved in schedule 3 it shall also carry information prescribed in schedule 
in spite of anything contained in the motor vehicle act 1988 or rules there under the untreated biomedical waste must be transported only in prescribed vehicle as may be sanctioned for the purpose by the competent authority as specified by the government of india the biomedical waste which is not treated must not be kept stored beyond the period of 48 hours unless in any case it becomes obligatory to store the waste beyond the period the authorized person shall take consent the approved authority and take action to make certain that the waste does not negatively affect human health and the environment schedule 2 standard for treatment and disposal of by medical waste standard for incineration operation standards such as combustion efficiency shall be at least 99% operating temperature for the primary chamber is minimum of 800 degree centigrade and secondary chamber minimum of 1050 degree centigrade or minus 50 degree centigrade the gas residence time in secondary chamber should be at least 2 second emission standards for particulate matter nitrogen oxide and hcl dioxide and furans and mercury and its compounds stack height should be 30 meter above the ground level in addition to this schedule 2 deals with the operating standard of gasification and plasma pyrolysis air emission standard air pollution control measures disposal of as verified materials standard for autoclaving or biomedical waste validation test for autoclave recording of operational parameters routine test spore testing standard for microwaving standard for deep burial standard for efficacy and chemical disinfection standard for dry heat sterilization and standard for liquid waste schedule 3 deals with prescribed authorities and their corresponding duties schedule 4 part a deals with a label for biomedical waste containers or bags part b label for transporting biomedical waste bags or containers from 1 deals with accident reporting form 2 deals with application for authorization of re- renewal form 3 deals with authorization form 4 deals with annual report form 5 deals with appeal against or the order passed by prescribed authority at the end of this module we have studied about biomedical waste concept of biomedical waste management steps of biomedical waste management and the various segregation and proper disposable of biomedical waste i hope you all enjoy this session thank you